When making, when having a party and setting up for a table, the decorations can be one of the most expensive items. So today I'm going to teach you a way to save money and use items that can be found in your refrigerator. We're going to make fruit carvings. The carving we're going to make today is an apple swan. The fun thing about carvings is they're very festive and they make your table become very eye-catchy and unique. You're just going to need a few simple items such as a cutting board, water, lemon juice, a spray bottle, a paring knife. I have two different types of paring knives, a small one and a large one, but today I'm going to use my large one. Of course you're going to need apples. You can use a Red Delicious apple or a Granny Smith apple. Well, it really doesn't matter. Or you can also pair them together, maybe using the Red, Dish, Red Delicious apple to make the swan's head and the Granny Smith apple as the body. I'm going to use the Granny Smith apple today. You're going to first get your cutting board, place it in front of you, and get your apple. Make sure that your apple does not have any dents or bruises. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut the apple one eighth of an inch thick and go all the way through. You now have this slice. This slice will be used for the swan's head a little later so you can just put it to the side. The next thing you're going to do is place your apple face down. Then take your knife and make a cut that goes two thirds of the way through. But it's make sure that it's slightly off center. That way you don't cut through the apple's core, which is gonna make it hard for you to put the wings back together in a later step. So we're gonna cut, cut, cut. Once you cut two thirds of the way through, turn your apple on its side. Hold it very steady, that way as you cut to meet the first cut at a 90 degree angle, your hand doesn't slip and you accidentally cut yourself. Sometimes, there you go. Sometimes the pieces don't pop out initially, just wiggle it around and it should come out. You now have an apple slice as such. You can put that to the side, turn your apple, and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. We're going to make sure that it's slightly off center, cut two thirds of the way through, being sure not to hit the apple's core, turn on its side, and meet it once again. When you're turning it on the opposite side, just be very careful being that the side is drastically smaller than what you started with. Tuck your fingers so you don't cut yourself. We now have another pop out. As you can see, this is the swan's body. You have two cut out sides and you have a center which is still intact. It's not cut all the way through. So when we place the wings back in, they'll stick. If your seeds from the core pop out, just keep them and put them to the side because we're also going to need these later as well. My fail. The next step is, you're going to take your apple piece, the first piece that you cut out, put it on its side, and make a cut. You want to make sure that it's about one-eighth of an inch thick because you want to get about two or three cuts out of this. That way your wings will look nice and pretty. So. Make sure you don't go all the way through. The next step is, you're going to turn it on its other side going to meet it at a 90 degree angle mm -hmm. 
If it doesn't pop out at the first step, just go back with the first cut. And there we have it. We have two pieces. Your first wing, and now we're going to make more wings. Make sure you just keep your fingers tucked in because this... As you cut more wings, the pieces get smaller and smaller, and it becomes a little easier to cut yourself. So just be careful when you're doing that. One eighth of an inch thick, two thirds of the way through. Turn and meet it at a 90 degree angle. You now have another pop out, and as you can see, these are our wings. If you want, you can go another time. I'm just gonna make a small piece. I'm gonna turn it again. There we have it. This, you now have your first set of swan wings. We're gonna do this a second time. One eighth of an inch thick, two thirds of the way through. Turn, meet it at a 90 degree angle. You now have two sets of swan wings. Good thing about this, this is, if you mess up, it's edible. All you have to do is eat your mess ups and start all over again. As you can see, my apple is, tur is turning brown. This is because it's beginning to oxidize. That's when we're gonna get our lemon juice, our water, spray bottle, and we're gonna spray it down. You don't need a lot of lemon juice, just maybe a couple squirts. water the acid from the lemon juice is gonna hold off the apple from turning brown which is a part of the oxidation process just gonna spray 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 make sure you spray it all the way through that way it looks present when you put it out it looks very presentable you, know, you have this beautiful green apple no brown marks okay what you gonna you now gonna put your wings back into the apple's body You're almost there. As you can see, if you were to use the red apple, the contrast between the two would be very pretty. Maybe use maybe use red, the red wings and the red head. That would make the contrast look very great. This is the initial piece we started with. 
This is how we're gonna make the swan tea. Damn. All you're gonna do is follow the, cut the beak, follow the curve of the apple with a knife. cut out the swan's head. It doesn't have to be fancy, but you do want to make it look like an actual swan's head with the shape. As such. You're now going to cut a little small piece out. That seed we started with earlier, you're going to poke through. The swan now has eyes. And cut a small incision on the top. This way, the swan's head fits right on in. You now have an apple swan. The most important thing about remembering when you're making this fruit carving is, you're not going to always get it right on the first time. It may come out perfect. It may come out very bad. But you're going to make a mistake. Just remember, it's edible. Eat it. Save it. And go from there. If you, if you would like to look up more fruit carvings, you can go on www.ehow.com and in the search bar put fruit carvings. A list of other items that you can make will come up.